Chelsea's a hot little number. I hear she's a mutant, but it doesn't show. The only weird thing about her is she won't go out with me. Chelsea Bando's the kind that could hold her own with anyone, but she has a way of turning my knees to jelly. She's a mutant, just like everyone else in this part of town, but she's a real beauty. Well, hello, stranger. Chelsea, you're breaking my heart. Why? Because I've got a steady job? Sure. Kick me when I'm down. You think it's fun being broke? Well, you know, Tex, there just might be a job for you. Have you heard that Rook's place got robbed? No, I didn't. What do you know about it? Yeah, you know, I remember Rook told me about the burglary. You know, I remember a stranger hanging around the past couple of days. It might be a dead end, but I seem to remember that the guy had these bright green eyes and a tattoo of an anchor on his arm. Surprisingly, the auto post box has no graffiti on it. Maybe people around here are finally starting to respect our government and its fine agencies. The Postal Service has gotten much faster since the stamp price went to $10. I should get my credit card back tomorrow morning. Well, this is a section of the Bay City Mirror. It's a weekly newsletter that covers local goings-on written by mutants for mutants. I'd subscribe if they had a comics page. Rook Garner runs this pawn shop. Rook Garner runs this pawn shop. He's a crusty old World War III vet with a face like a raisin and a tongue like a butcher's cleaver. What do you want, Miffy? Is this a bad time for a visit? That depends on whether you're here to help me or to irritate me. Sounds like you're in the market for a P.I. I might be. Let me tell you the whole sordid story. Last night someone broke into my pawn shop. I don't usually have anything of great value, but yesterday I gave out a fair amount of cash for an extremely valuable diamond bracelet. How much is a fair amount of cash? In this case, $8,000. I didn't know you kept that much cash. I don't usually, but I sold a few things earlier, so I had just over 8000 bucks. The bracelet was pawned by a young girl named Emma Nimpton. She said she hated to hawk a family heirloom, but had no choice. She said she would reclaim the bracelet in a month. Well, since the bracelet was worth ten times eight thousand I loaned her, it was a good deal for me. Did you get any other information from this Emma Nimpton? She left a phone number. I called her this morning, but the line is disconnected. So do you have any leads on recovering the bracelet? No, the police are a waste of time, and I can't afford to hire a decent P.I. I guess this means you don't consider me good enough to help track down the bracelet. 
I'd appreciate your help. I'm not a rich man, but if you find the bracelet, I'll owe you a few favors, which could come in handy. Come back here and I'll show you where they broke in. Rook takes me out back and shows me where the burglar broke in. The back window is busted out and the latch is ripped. It's a sloppy job. As I start my investigation, I'm looking for information to enter into my crime link computer back at the office. One thing's for sure, Emma Nimpton won't be one of the suspect's names. Every P.I. worth his salt knows that's not my name spelled backwards. Looks like a shoe print is outlined in that sticky pool of something resembling chocolate. Footprints about a size 14. Like Rook always says, you can cut corners here and there, but there's nothing like a quality garbage can. Hmm. Looks like a key of some kind. Shard of glass must have come from that broken window. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Looks like whoever broke into Rook's window left one of his hairs behind. Apparently our burglar is a carrot top. These disgusting piles of trash remind me of Aunt Betty's annual yard sales. Reminds me of playing hoops when I was younger, in the days before my lower vertebrae turned into petrified rock. Hmm, it's one of those basketballs they used to give away at Weenie World. Ten seconds left, down by one. Murphy has the ball, he fakes, he drives, it's a 360! He's fouled! Whoa! This antique boombox worked. I bet it only play the Bee Gees. This old relic probably hasn't worked in years. Hey, there are batteries in here. I wonder if these still work. Mmm, tingly tongue. Still got juice. Well, that steep staircase looked really hard to climb. Looks like someone's back door opens onto the fire escape. Hey, this door's just painted on. Wow, a recyclable paper can. Finally, a glimmer of ecological responsibility. I didn't know Rook cared. Wow, a recyclable paper can. Finally, a glimmer of ecological responsibility. I didn't know Rook cared. I haven't seen Mac Malden since the Martian Memorandum case. I remember him as a surly, incompetent, fat-nosed cop. As I step into his office, I can see he's changed. His nose is even bigger. Well, if it isn't Tex Murphy. I figured you'd be dead by now. I could say the same about you. When's the last time you had your cholesterol checked? Still the wise guy, eh, Murphy? It was great to see you. Now get lost!